These days, mass shooters do not stop at planning out their brutal attacks. They also create plans to live stream their massacres. The idea is simple. They put it out on social media platforms with the idea of hoping to promote more violence. The recent Buffalo shooting was one such incident. The white gunman killed 10 people at the supermarket. All of them were African Americans. But before the shooting, he had mounted a GoPro camera to his helmet. The idea was to stream the assault live on Twitch. The video game streaming platform has earlier been used by another shooter in 2019. He decided against streaming on Facebook. Like another mass shooter who killed 51 people at two mosques in Christchurch, this is because Facebook requires users to sign up for an account in order to watch live streams. There is no such requirement when it comes to Twitch. And still not everything went according to plan. By most accounts, the platforms responded more quickly than they did in 2019. It pulled down the stream less than two minutes after the first gunshots. But this is little consolation to the family members of the victims. In 2019, the Christchurch shooting was streamed live on Facebook for 17 minutes. It then quickly spread to other platforms. This time, the platforms generally seem to coordinate better, particularly by sharing digital signatures of the video. This is useful in helping to detect and remove copies. But identifying a copycat video could be difficult if someone has edited it. And this has created problems before and even this time. There has been a shift in how tech companies are responding to such events, but this calls for a wider discussion, especially around live streams. People are questioning whether they should exist at all. This is because once such, once such video goes online, there is almost, it's almost impossible to erase it completely. Experts suggest that sites could exercise more control over who can live stream and when. This can be done through two ways. One, by building in delays during live streaming and two, by whitelisting all valid users. This will immediately ban anyone who violates the rules. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.